Auzubillahimineşşeytanirracim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Today we will start Al-Wahdatu Salisa third unit A second mean residence A second mean residence Adar Suttasya Shara 19th lesson Al-Hewaru Lawwal First dialogue Unzur Vastame Waid Look and listen and repeat Ahmad Assalamu Alaikum Peace be upon you, Hassan, wa alaykum salam and peace be upon you too. Ahmad, aina taskunu, aina where, taskunu you live, aina taskunu, where do you live? Hassan, askunu fi hayyil matar, askunu I live fi in hayyil matar, airport neighborhood. I live in the airport neighborhood. Wa aina taskunu anta? And where do you live? Askunu fi hayyil jamia. I live in the university neighborhood. Hal taskunu fi bait? Do you live in a house? Naam, yes. Askunu fi bait? Yes, I live in a house. Wa hal taskunu fi bait? And do you live in a house? La, askunu fi shakka. No, I live in an apartment. Ma rakamu shakka tik. What is the number of your apartment? Khamsa, five. Wa ma rakamu baitik. And what is the number of your house? Tissa, nine. So, rakam mean number, shakka tika, your apartment, baitika, your house, khamsa mean five, tisa mean nine. Mufradad vocabulary, you write the vocabulary, you write the meaning of this vocabulary here as your homework. Then, silbain al kalimati wa suratil munasiba. Silbain al kalimati wa suratil munasiba. Join the word with the appropriate picture. Give me a minute. Okay, so here we have Silbain al Kalimati was Surat al Munasiba. Join the word with appropriate picture. So you will just join them. There is a mistake in this one. So you will just join it with this one. But there is a mistake here. And you will join them. And then you will upload it to Google Classroom. Remember all the exercises of the book are your homework. Even if I forget to tell you something, you need to do it as your homework. al Sani, second dialogue. Unzur wastame wide. Look and listen and repeat. Al-Mustajir. Mustajir means the tenant, the one who gets the property on rent. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon me. You Al Muaji mean the uh, renter, the one who gives the property on rent. Wa alaikum salam and peace be upon you too. Al Mustajir, the tenant. Uridu shakkatan min fazlik. I want an apartment, please. Uridu, I want shakka, an apartment. Min fazlik, please. I want an apartment, please. Al muajir, ladaina, we have shakkatun apartment, jamila, beautiful. Ladaina shakkatun jamila, we have a beautiful apartment. Al mustajir, tenant, kam gurfatan fi shakkati. How many rooms in the apartment? Kam mean how many? Urfa min room fi in ashakka the apartment. How many rooms in the apartment? So remember, in English we say rooms, how many rooms, but in Arabic we use singular word with the word kam. Okay, you need to remember that with the word kam you always use singular mansub, mufrad mansub word. Al Muajir Fishakati Khamsu Gurafin. In the apartment there are five rooms. So you see the plural of Urfa is Guraf. 
in the apartment there are five rooms al mustajir fi ayyi daur ash-shakka fi in ayyi which daur floor ash-shakka the apartment in which floor is the apartment al muajir ash-shakka tu fi daur al-khamis ash-shakka tu the apartment fi in a daur al-khamis fifth floor the apartment is in the fifth floor al mustajir uridu mushahadat ash-shakka uridu i want mushahada to see ash-shakka the apartment i want to see the apartment al muajir tafaddal yes please udkhul enter haza bab ash-shakka this is the door of the apartment al mustajir hazihi shakkatun jameela hazihi this is shakka apartment jameela beautiful this is a beautiful apartment al mufradat vocabulary you need to write the meaning of this vocabulary here tadrib sil bain al kalimati wa surat al munasiba join the word with appropriate picture so you will join them here then we have al hiwar us salis third dialogue unzur wasta me wahid look and listen and repeat al mushtari the buyer Assalamu alaikum peace be upon you al bai the seller wa alaikum assalam and peace be upon you too ayya khidma how may i help you al mushtari the buyer uridu ba dal asas uridu i want ba za sam al asas the furniture i want some furniture al bai ma za turidu li ghurfatin naum no no we have harf jal li here so you will say li ma za what turidu you want li for ghurfatin naum bedroom ma za turidu li ghurfatin naum what do you want for the bedroom al mushtari Uridu, I want sariran a bed, wa and sitara a curtain. I want a bed and a curtain. Al bai, wa maza turidu li gurfatil julus, wa and maza what turidu you want, li gurfatil julus for the living room, and what do you want for the living room? Al mushtari uridu arikatan wa sanjada uridu i want arika <coughs> sofa this is called arika this thing is called arika wa sanjada and the rug this thing is called sanjada al bai wa maza turidu lil matbakh wa and maza what turidu you want lil matbakh for the kitchen and what do you want for the kitchen al mushtari uridu furnan wa sallaja i want an oven this is called o furnan wa sallaja and a refrigerator al bai the seller wa maza turidu lil hammam and what turidu you want lil hammam for the bathroom and what do you want for the bathroom Al Mushtari Uridu I want Sakhanan a water heater wa mirror and a mirror I want a water heater and a mirror Al Bai Hal Turidu Shayan akhar Hal do Turidu you want Shayan anything akhar else Do you want anything else Al Mushtari shukran thanks Uridu mushahadat al asas I want to see the furniture Al bai tafaddal yes please So here we have vocabulary you will write their meanings here as your homework then you will join the word with appropriate picture this is also your homework Here he is asking you to sil baina kitat al asas wal makan allazi tujadu fihi join the part of furniture to the place where you find it where it exists so 
like mirror is found in hammam so you will join it with the hammam like this bed is found in wood for the norm so you will find a uh, join like this this is found in kitchen join like this this is found in ghurfatul julus so you will join it like this in this way you will join all these pictures with these four words this is also your homework you can skip this one then we have the days of the week as sabt means saturday al ahad sunday al isnain monday as sulasa tuesday al arbia wednesday al khamis thursday al juma friday tadrib al awwal akmil ayam al asbu complete the days of the week so here you in the blanks you will write the days of the week here he is asking you ratib ayam al asbu arrange the days of the week so you will arrange them and write them here you can skip these two then at tarkib un at tarkib un nahwiya grammatical structures at tadrib al awwal first exercise tabadal al sual wal jawab ma zamilik come off in this hand exchange the question and answer with your colleague like in the example al misal the example hal tasqunu fi bayt do you live in a house naam asqunu fi bayt yes i live in a house so you will ask about you will ask the second person where do you live or do you live in a house something like this so here you will say do you live in an apartment so you will close the you will hide the example then you will ask hal tasqunu fi shakka he will say naam asqunu fi shakka then you will ask him without looking at the example hal tasqunu fi hayyil jamia he will reply naam asqunu fi hayyil jamia at tadrib us sani hati jumlan kama fil misal bring sentences like an example so you will make sentence similar to the example in the example you see we have the word shakka and you also know about maful bi in uh, you have studied it in the grammar book probably so remember maful bi is always mansub so here uridu is fail and its maful is shakka so you will say uridu you will learn maful bi later in detail so uridu shakkatan min fazlik i want an apartment please so in all these word the action of the verb uridu will be done on these things so they will become maful bi and they will be mansub uridu sallajatan min fazlik i want a refrigerator please uridu sajjadatan min fazlik i want a rug please uridu sitaratan min fazlik i want a curtain please so you will make these sentences without looking at the example then hal tasqunu fi bayt do you live in a house he, the picture is shakka so you will say la asqunu fi shakka no i live in an apartment so you will hide the example you will ask according to this picture hal tasqunu fi shakka second person will reply la asqunu fi bayt no i live in a house then you will ask hal tasqunu fi hayyil jamia he will answer la asqunu fi hayyil jamia so in this way you will do it now we you need to make question using the harf jal li li mean for so here we have two words gurfatun naum and sitara so you will ask the question ma za turidu li gurfatun naum what do you want for the bedroom second person will say uridu sitara i want a curtain so again you see action of the fail uridu is done on this isam so it become maful bihi and maful bihi is always mansub here li is a figure so it li will makes the next word majrur then we have matbakh you will add li here ma za turidu lil matbakh the second person will answer without looking at the example uridu sajjada uridu sallaja 
then you will ask ma za turidu lil hamam what do you want from the bathroom he will say uridu sakhan and i want a water heater then you will ask ma za turidu li ghurfatil julus what do you want from the living room he will say uridu arika i want a sofa in this way you will practice this without looking at the example then we have kam ghurfatan fi shakka how many rooms in the apartment so you see khamsu so you say fish fish shakati khamsu what of in the apartment there are five rooms then fi ayyi daur shakka in which floor is the apartments so you see a daur al khamis so you say fi daur al khamis because of harf jar fi here we have kasra because of ayya ayya is always mudaf so which makes the next word mudaf le so it is majrur with kam we always use mufrad mansub ism so you need to learn these things so now you will ask the question you need to ask two question how many rooms in the apartment and in which floor is the apartment so here you will ask kam ghurfatan fi shakka according to this word he will answer fi shakkati arba'u ghurafin in the apartment there are five rooms four rooms sorry four rooms then you will ask in which floor is the apartment fi ayyi daur ash shakka so he will answer ash shakka to fi daur ar rabi the apartment is on the fourth floor so in this way you will ask the questions then again you will ask how many rooms in the apartment kam ghurfatan fi shakka he will answer fi shakka ti salasu ghurf in the apartment there are three rooms again you will ask fi ayyi daur ash shakka in which floor is the apartment the answer will be ash shakka tu fi daur ash salis the apartment is on the third floor at the ribus sadis sixth exercise hati jumal and kama fil misal line bring the sentences like in the two example so here you need to remember when the adjective is feminine the manut the mosuf must be feminine so when you see sifa when you see nat when you see adjective is muzakkar then the corresponding mosuf or manut must be masculine so you see shakka is feminine nat is also feminine bait is masculine so its nat is also masculine ladaina shakkatun jamilatun we have a beautiful apartment ladaina baitun jamilun we have a beautiful house ladaina asasun jamilun we have beautiful furniture ladaina arikatun jamilatun we have a beautiful sofa ladaina furnun jamilun we have a beautiful oven so you need to remember the gender gender must be same for both nat manut sifa musuf then we have summary of all the sentences that you have read read in so far so you will say uridu sitara i want a curtain uridu arika i want a sofa in this way you will read these all these are previous sentences nothing new here you can skip this page next time inshallah we will start this one fahamul masmu so if you have any question any doubt any problem feel free to ask me in the comments you can ask me on my whatsapp as well so the next thing is the homework for homework you will open google classroom then you will go to classes in the classes you will open al arabiyat wa baina yadayk you will click on classwork then in the classwork last time you submitted in homework number 5 this time we better submit it in homework number 6 let's me see what is in the homework number 6 it has the paper six 
59 page let me check okay so whatever written in the homework number six ignore it so you will whatever homework i have given you today you will submit it in the homework number six okay if you don't understand anything feel free to ask me you will submit your homework in homework number six or you can also submit in it in the homework number no homework number six so you need to submit all of your homework that i have given you today in the homework number six whatever is written here ignore it you just upload your homework here i will check it inshallah and if you have any problem you can ask me okay so inshallah see you next time ma salama